Hi friends, Antimicrobial World welcomes you. In this video, we are going to see some important terms related to mycology. Mycology is the branch of biology that deals with the study of fungi. Fungi are eukaryotic heterotrophic organisms belonging to the kingdom fungi. Fungi are among the most widely distributed organisms on earth and are of great environmental and medical importance. Many fungi are free living in soil and water and some form parasitic or symbiotic relationships with plants or animals. In this video we are going to see what are yeast, yeast like fungi, mold, dimorphic fungi, rust, smut, mildew and mushroom. Yeasts. Yeasts are the simplest type of fungus. Yeasts are unicellular fungi which occur as spherical or ellipsoidal cells and reproduce by simple budding. On culture, they form smooth creamy colonies. The only pathogenic yeast is Cryptococcus neoformans. Yeasts are found almost everywhere, including inside the body. Small amounts of a certain type of yeast normally live on the skin and in some parts of the body, such as the mouth, throat, and vagina. Yeasts have been used for centuries in the production of fermented foods and alcoholic beverages. One example is Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which can convert carbohydrate to carbon dioxide and alcohols through the process of fermentation. So, what are yeasts? Yeasts are microscopic unicellular eukaryotic organisms. Yeast like fungi. Yeast like fungi grow partially as yeast and partially as elongated cells resembling hyphae. The later form is pseudomycelium. Candida albicans is a pathogenic yeast like fungus. Next, we are going to see what are molds. Molds of filamentous fungi form true mycelium reproduced by the formation of different types of spores. Next, we are going to see what is a hyphae. In most multicellular fungi, elongation of the cell produces a tubular thread-like structure called hypha. Next, we are going to see what is a mycelium. A tangled mass of hyphae constitutes the mycelium. Fungi which form mycelia are called molds or filamentous fungi. Hyphae may be septate or non-septate. The septa when present have holes through which free flow of cytoplasmic materials can take place. In a growing colony of filamentous fungus, the mycelium can be divided into the vegetative mycelium which grows into the medium and the aerial mycelium which projects from the surface. Mycelium absorb nutrients from the environment. Molds can grow on dead organic matter in nature, but their presence is visible to the unaided eye only when they form large colonies. Food spoilage is often caused by molds. Moldy food has an undesirable taste and texture and may have spots. We should note one important point here that is excess moisture is the cause of indo mold growth. Next we are going to see the importance of molds. Molds play important roles in biotechnology and food science especially in the production of various pigments, food, beverages, antibiotics, enzymes, etc. Molds cause biodegradation of natural materials. Some diseases of animals and humans 
or caused by some molds. Some molds also produce mycotoxins that can pose serious health risks to humans and animals. Let's see some examples of filamentous fungi. Aspergillus, Alternaria, Fusarium, Muca, Penicillium, Rhizobus, etc. Dermatophytes are example of pathogenic molds. Next one is dimorphic fungi. Dimorphic fungi can occur as filamentous or as yeast, depending on the condition of growth. In host tissues or cultures at 37 degrees Celsius, they occur as yeasts, while in soil and in cultures at 22 degrees Celsius, they appear as molds. Most fungi causing systemic infections are dimorphic fungi. Next, we are going to see about rusts. Rust fungi are eukaryotic multicellular plant parasites. Rust fungi most commonly reproduce via asexual spore formation. Their spores are airborne and can travel long distances. Rust fungi are obligate biotrophs. That means rust fungi can only feed, grow and reproduce on their living host. This absolute dependence on the host makes the rust fungi cannot be cultured on artificial media under laboratory conditions. And rust fungi are particularly challenging to study because we know the reason rust fungi only be grown on living plants. These parasites develop a specialized or specific infection structures called hostoria within plant cells for transfer of nutrients from host cell to fungal palace. Rust fungi are economically important because Majority of them cause disease of cereals and other crops, resulting in enormous losses. The group received its common name, rust fungi, from the fact that some species have a reddish spore stage which resembles the corrosion process known as rust. Next one is smut fungi. Smut fungi are a large group of eukaryotic, multicellular, biotrophic plant parasites or pathogens. Smut fungi characterized by their large numbers of teleospores. The term smut, which is a German word, refers to dirt because teleospores are dark, thick walled and dust like so they used the term smut to refer this type of fungi many smut fungi are either seedling or ovary infectors the diseases caused by smut fungi are called smuts that affect leaves stem flower bulbs and cones symptoms vary according to the smut species Main symptoms include spots, blisters, distorted growth. They may develop balls of spores called galls or sori, which contains masses of teleospores. Smut primarily affecting grasses like maize, wheat, sugarcane, etc. Eustilago medis is a Typical model organism for studying biotrophic plant pathogen interactions and they also become biotechnology tools. Mildew. Mildew is a thin, furry, multicellular fungi that usually grows as whitish coating or as discoloration on moist surfaces. Some mildews are parasites growing on the surface of plant foliage or fruits, materials made from plant or animal tissues such as wood, paper, leather, etc. 
Finally, we are going to say about mushroom. A mushroom is the reproductive structure produced by some fungi. Uh, we can say fleshy spore producing body of fungi. In mushrooms, the mycelium grows under the ground and when circumstances are favorable, the reproductive structure or fruiting body will form. That is, the main body of the fungus is usually found underground. And when circumstances are favorable, an enlarged, complex, fleshy, spore-bearing fruiting body of the fungus arises from an underground mycelium. Let's see some examples of edible mushroom. Oyster mushroom, white button mushroom, enoki mushroom, portobello mushroom, shimiji mushroom. Toadstools are the inedible or poisonous species of mushroom. See you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.